Look, I'm here in the woods nearby Soest, a little village in Holland. And I would like to share two lessons. Two lessons that nature teaches us in early spring, March. And here in the Netherlands in March, everything seems, well, dead or not alive. But nothing is less true. Because if you are here in two months, there will be a lot of leaves, a lot of green, a lot of animals. And it's very much alive. And it's already happening. There's a lot of activity in the roots. There's already a lot of activity in, inside the plants. And the same is true for your business. A lot is already happening without you knowing it, without you controlling it, without you planning it. And why don't we trust that? Why don't we surf on that flow that is already happening without us, without us intervening? So the lesson is be aware of that what is already happening without you seeing it or noticing it. For example, a client of mine said, I've been on your mailing list for about six years and just now I decided to join a workshop. And I didn't know about that because there are many people subscribe to my newsletters but I don't know what they're thinking I don't know what what is happening but I trust that there's a lot happening and that at the right time right moment people decide to join a workshop or get coaching or invite me to come to their country and do presentation or whatever so trust in this natural flow and then the second lesson is that everything has its own rhythm and it's good to follow that rhythm and to connect with that rhythm. Um, and that's not something that you can connect with with your mind because that will think of a rhythm or think of something is happening at a certain pace. But the only thing that you can do that is tuning in with your intuition, tuning into your company. What is the rhythm of your company? What is the rhythm of your customer? What is the rhythm of this particular project for example or this cooperation you're planning and instead of making plans and deadlines and f trying to control this flow you can follow the natural rhythm the inhalation exhalation breathe in breathe out and then you can find out okay so does this moment require more action or less action does it require standing still or does it require hurry up a little does it require focusing inwards or focusing outwards and if you do that you will find out that it's much easier to get things accomplished because you follow the natural rhythm of the business of your client of the project and the natural natural rhythm will make it a lot easier to get things done and then there's one tip for following this rhythm is um, that you need to be aware of all the rhythms we have created that are not natural like the rhythm of annual reports the rhythm of quarters the rhythm of months the rhythm maybe even of hours and days so these all create this artificial rhythm and they might intervene with the natural rhythm so Please be aware of what is the natural rhythm of yourself, your company, and, and all the other things you're working with. And I'm wondering what would happen if you really follow that natural rhythm. I wish you a lot of fun.